we are going to discuss another type of data objects that is the variables. So, what are the representations of variables are allowed in our prolog language? So, let us go for the detailing. So, variable representation in prolog. Variables are strings of letters or digits and underscore characters. They start with a uppercase letter or and underscore character. So, that is very important. So, a variable name can contain letters, can contain digits, can contain underscore characters, but a variable name will be having the starting character will be either a capital letter or underscore. So, these are the valid variable names in prolog. So, these variables are starting with some capital letters and they are starting with some underscore character. In a clause where a variable is used once, only then the variable name can be replaced by so called anonymous variable and which is written as a single underscore character. So, whenever we are having one variable which is appearing either on the left hand side or on the right hand side once, then the variable name can be also replaced by your underscore that is known as anonymous variable. So, has child x parent x y. So, this y you see it is appearing only once in the right hand side it has got no presence in the left hand side and also in the right hand side it has occurred once only. So, in that case we can write has a child x if parent x anonymous variable represented by underscore. So, this product clause can also be represented using this one. So, here if you write this clause no issues if you write this clause and if you go on compiling your program, one warning will be coming not error message, one warning will be coming that is singleton variable. So, if we replace this y by this underscore that means anonymous variable then that warning will not be coming in while the program is getting compiled. So, that is the main difference between them. So, how to represent variables one type of data objects in our prolog code we have explained that one with some sample examples. Thanks for watching this video.